Now we are going to talk about how to test the SAP workflow we developed. Okay, so we'll start from scratch. Okay, so here is the D code where we created the workflow template. Okay, so this is my workflow template. The template number always starts with the number. Okay, it's an eight digit number and generally it will start with number nine. Okay, now here before doing this, okay, in order to test any workflow. Uh, you have to configure this place SWU3. Okay, so SWU3 is like the like the backbone, the heart of SAP workflow. So if this is not set up, then it's a problem. Okay, so here I can see this is these are not things set up, but we'll see how it works when it's not set up. Okay, so now let's go and we will see. Now uh, we'll click on display and we'll go to workflow builder. If you notice, I'm going in display mode rather than change mode, and this is our uh, workflow template. Okay, now here we said how to test the first time you test it is through single testing. You can test it by clicking on this, or you can go to another workflow transaction which is SWUS. Okay. <clears throat> Here we test using SWUS, and here we will put this template number. Okay, now if I click, I get this screen. Now, if I did the same for this here by clicking F8, also we we'll get that same screen. Okay, I'll go back here, we'll go to the other screen. Okay. Now here, if you notice, they are asking for an invoice number. So here you have to pass. So you remember when we were testing. So let's go to to our to our table or to our transaction code and we'll get one document. So we'll go with uh, sorry, MIR four. Okay. So let's go that. Oops. It's too slow. So let's go. <coughs> into another transaction so okay so here if you notice se 16 i do and i go to ekb and here i'll get the mm document number. and now this is not specific to any vim document this is not specific to any workflow but i need to get some test data out so i'll just invoice receipt and i'll do execute and I'll pick some numbers which is suppose what I'll do I'll put 2019 here material document here 2019 and here if you notice what I picked is invoice receipt now I execute okay now here I'll get uh, the numbers now I'll pick up the 51 numbers Natural uh, document here. Oops, to 2018. Did I do invoice receipt? I picked goods receipt. It would be invoice receipt. That's why the numbers were all different. Whacked out. So this one will pick. Okay. One for fifty forty-eight. <coughs> and now we we'll go to a transaction called MIR four. And we'll put this number. You don't need to put the fiscal year. SAP is smart enough to know the fiscal year. Now you go to follow on document. Okay, let's click on this. And here is the document. And here you have the payment method already set. So what what specifically I need to put is you go here. A workflow, archive work. This is the document number we put. This is the company code 1010. So now we'll put company code. Let's see, we need to test okay. Here the company code is 1010, and uh, what was the number? It's 57. Now you might say, Oh, how SAP picks it up because SAP is smart enough, it knows from your parameter ID that you you want it because i did never entered it that's the smartness and this is not artificial intelligence 
that they built in s that was there from day one okay so that's the smartness they have now let's go and hit execute you will see so the moment we hit execute you have to click on workflow log and here if you see it's ready and it's showing student 013 okay now this is this was for invoice 1010 okay so we pass to student 013 for approval and if you notice <coughs> now if i now i will check what are the different options he has so if i so now i'm acting as student 013 okay uh, now i execute click on edit and I click on change and I click on execute and if I do this see I have these options single change and all those things now the requirement is so here if I click on release it will not release it but you know and here you can say the document is released document is released and it says continue and if you see now we go here <coughs> you see the workflow is completed now you might say okay who acted on it and all those things you can always see that I only acted on it and you can see all the logs from here there's different views you can so if I want, I can see more details. Okay, so here there is an option extra go to personal workflow settings. Okay, and here I go to user and you can go classical technical view. And I click on this. Okay, and if I click, I get this view. Okay, and in this view, if I click on <clears throat> click on graphics okay here it will say it will give me a nice flow chart if you notice it started and this is it was approved and then there was a mail sent also and all those things so this is nice now you might say where the mail was sent so let's go to the workflow log okay and here if you notice these were the things and the mail this this was the mail sent where it was sent you can go to our inbox okay here is the SAP inbox from this is the place from where you log in and check but there I acted as student uh, 013 and processed it so let's go here click on inbox and uh, let me see where I sent it. Did I send it to workflow? So let's see. This was sent to student 11. So let's see in the document. So here it now shows. Oops. Inbox. It shows you. Uh, the dog box so you see nope. so the documents are not showing so here oops, I click on under documents and then it shows documents so this some issues so ideally it should show here and that's why you we need to test it right so here Though it's showing here student 011, let's see whether our system is logged in with student 011. <coughs> okay, so student 11, okay, so it's logged in, okay, so that might be the issue because SWU3 is not properly configured. So let's configure these things, schedule background job, redo automatic customization. So job will be scheduled with technical job responsibility. Execute. Review. 
so just redo 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 okay now let's go out see what happens sometimes it may not work because i don't have authorization it seems that nothing did work so specify a time interval regularly automatic customization let's click execute okay state check even with this so let's see now what we are going to do here this we did single testing so our testing passed the document didn't move because there's some some authorization issue but now we will test it through an event this was single test now we'll see other events okay so we'll test the real scenario so what we are going to do is uh, where are we here this is the document now if you notice this didn't have a block if you know this have a block okay so now what we are going to do is we're going to pick up because this is one document just we played now we'll get another document so let's see we we'll probably used mir4 and we'll probably use 149 and we'll see whether that has been created and we'll try to find a block okay so we click on follow on document this is the place and let's click on this and there is a payment block not set okay now we go in change mode and we'll put a block a and we'll save it okay now once we saved it okay now once we saved it we need to see a workflow from a place so there is this transaction where we can see all the workflows that got triggered today okay uh, or you can always see the workflow from here started workflows if you see there is no workflows that got started probably I need to hit the refresh button didn't get started so let's see let's w e l first we see whether any event got triggered nothing got triggered okay so let's see uh, probably the event trace is not switched on S W E L S. we switched on switch restriction for trace there was some restriction and we'll remove the restrictions and we'll save it and we'll say this one object type would be vkpf and and we'll say switch on now we'll go to swl and we'll execute and there is nothing there so now we will again go to the transaction follow on document okay go to account assignment we'll go here change it back to black and we'll save it saving 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 now we go to the other transaction is WEL and I can hit the refresh button nothing is triggered okay which is expected because our workflow should trigger at the time of blocking the payment so now let's click on this and we go here and we click A and we save it saved now we refresh still nothing is tri triggered so there's some problem so <coughs> let me put 
created until oops, 17 nothing is there so let's see what what's the problem okay so let's see uh, so we will now go and trigger it manually is we okay and we go to we put bkpf that's our workflow the object type you remember we created the so let's go to the template first okay if you remember go to basic data this is the business object bkpf now you go here bkpf and here you trigger You will see our event that we created payment block okay and now here we can put the number and the number was 58 5100000058 and it was 2018 now here if you see I click on trigger event event created at least one okay now here if I go to another transaction that's SWUE let's go where is it where I am probably I closed it so if I go SWUE and here if you notice it uh, the other transaction that I triggered okay. so this would be not this one go to this transaction and here we'll go SWEL sorry so here is the place where we see the event log so still it's not showing but then if there is a problem somewhere let's see can be any problem do you have a filter set up somewhere? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, let's see. There is other transaction. SWEQ ADM. There's the event queue administration. So now we clicked here. So here you could link pages with error. So saying something. Okay, now let's go and we'll try to find whether the workflow got triggered. SWI1, and what we are going to do is create it on. <clears throat> Nothing got created. That's strange. So. So we we'll go to another transaction as WI2 FREQ. Today is a workflow. I think I don't have authorization because that's why it's saying all these things. So, oh, sorry. So, this is the so, in order to know whether you have. Uh, authorization or not you go to for FREQ because here it needs to show that I triggered something but it's not though it says no work items possible is this authorization issue we have SC53 okay so if you notice here we don't have authorization that's why so this is another part of the thing that shows that some stuffs you cannot do because there's you don't have proper authorization let's see how we can get out of this authorization issue so now what we're going to do is we'll see workflow SAP inbox started workflow yes see here the workflow got triggered our workflow got triggered okay so if you notice the workflow got triggered now, whether it worked or not, we have to see.
so here if you see the workflow got triggered and it has errors so what's the error it's getting is uh, something probably related with uh, document number for item one unable to determine the value of component so these are the things that so there's some issues so let's try to fix it and we'll test it okay so let's go and figure it out so what we have to do is go to our transaction to fix the workflow that's why i said you know workflow template you its design time was easier but while testing you face lots of issues okay so then you have to tweak it okay so now first you have to tweak it says that the workflow gets triggered from an event okay now here if you notice let's first see it here the binding was done or not i think the binding is there so we have to see from the scratch mm -hmm. so here the binding is there invoice event object to invoice so if you notice this is done now lots of time the company code doesn't show up so what i will do is now we'll create some more company more elements we'll see how we recover it <coughs> okay now here it's probably saying invoice document number it's getting a problem here let's see the workflow log whatever it was saying okay so error in evaluation of expression invoice document number for item one unable to determine the component is something now uh, here yeah. step four error when starting workflow agent determination for step fail. Yeah, that's the problem so here we did invoice and all those things but still it could not figure out what was the container element so let's do one thing mm, here <coughs> we will be doing something specific so now we will select here workflow container okay. we are going to create some container element first container element we create is invoice number okay. so now we create invoice number yes and here we put the sec will not and here we put import export not multi-line not mandatory this is one we created now we'll create another one company book control c control v control v and here we put v set well now booker so if you notice we when we did the development this was not there but now we are getting errors so i'm going through all this so that you will face the same errors and you will do it now there is a reason why i did it now because it's not working so that's very important so testing that's why the always good to do the testing very faster okay so that you can tweak it and make it as a delivered product not as a product that is just only delivered it doesn't really work okay so now we did this portion now what we are going to do we'll go to basic data okay and we will bind this element specifically so i'll click here binding okay and here if you notice i have these things so i put company code number document number and i'll put invoice number here and here i put company code okay and now i just make sure that it really works here I can check the check. Okay, if it's yellow, SAP, just forget it. Okay, everything is fine. And now I save it. Okay, so this is now there. I activate it. Okay, and now we we'll pass this 
and instead of passing the company code like this we we'll pass it like this company code okay so spaces here now press enter perfect okay now we save it now uh, another thing okay we'll activate now since he made the changes and we'll try to trigger this workflow again so here show event receiver so here if you see this is my event receiver so this is a phone call that is being come and since we configured it showing show event receiver and what is this is click on function on what is this field even language is ever use of you no, no. we don't need this. so now what we are going to do is we'll again create an event we created an event and at least one receiver received now what we are going to do is we'll hit the back button since we don't have work for authorization but still we will play with this okay so now if you notice started workflow okay so the next one it mm, let's go spwp and we see outbox started workflows this one <coughs> didn't start let's see the workflow log can i make this to work Activate administration and I want to start execution after so start it you see this workflow started but yep started now but this one had company code error so this will not be a problem so now what we are going to do we want to trigger this for so now we can create an event okay at least one receiver found this workflows this portion is triggering let's see in SWEL it's showing up or not so let's go to I'm running out of session so let's go here and okay here it's not running so I think probably I don't have only link to this with error. Okay, that's just fine. So it's not triggering, so that's another problem. Let's see the event linkage is probably configured. And there's another transaction that might remove this issue is there's a buffering transaction and and that might resolve this. There's this transaction SWU OBUF buffer. Okay, and here it's buffering, so it's fine. So start synchronization is there. Let's create probably what I'll do is I'll create it through another another way. Okay. So instead of using 148 we'll use some um, other one, 164 okay so this is the thing we go to where we go here slash n mir4 and now yeah i put this number 164 oops this is probably 2019 
now we go to follow on document and if I go here and workflow archive workflow and if I notice these are the numbers so if I now go to create event this will be different Oops. this would be 710 Seven ten, ten, and this would be twenty three and two zero one. This is two zero one. Okay, now we create event. Okay, this one receiver received. Now we go to the workflow log and we see and here it is you saw it triggered so the buffering works so you can see what are the pains for workflow log development so if you notice here i will show you so you so what i did is in order to whenever you are triggering this is i'm going slowly a little okay started workflows this is like an outbox that's like the send inbox in your outlook okay so when you are sending uh, an email you can always find it out from your sent so this is your sent out box but this is your activity also so here you can see work items executed by me here you can see the started workflow so now if i click here so this tells me the workflow log now you might say how will I know who is it? So if you see, this was triggered by me. And now we can see the agent. We click here. Now, if this is white or light, little white, then means it's not com it's not it's not completed. So there would be an agent. But sometimes if you click on this this button, I'll show it will not show people. So here it went to this only to this user. Why you know? It went to only this user because this person is maintained as a as a admin you remember we did it it was maintained as an admin so if something is not maintained it will not go in error so that exactly that's what happens so in order to remember what we did really okay we are going to I'm running out of session <laughs> so that's very so let's let's do something we'll see what we did we'll so we'll go to this transaction pfac we created our uh, no i think it was z something Wait. Uh, was it this yes this is the one so if you remember this is the responsibilities and here we made this also Five. So I should have. I made a mistake here, and I should go into change mode. Now you might say, "Oh, you don't have authorization." Every time you have to go in change mode, in production they will not give that authorization. So in in order to maintain this type of rule, there is a transaction slash n o o c u underscore r e s p. Okay, and here we go in change mode and here and i click save okay and that's it so now here if i put so before let me see why i changed it i'll show you so if i put five here this was an admin so he shouldn't get items that should be assigned to them he's acting as an admin so now if i simulate this okay now let me have to run away from uh, i have to go to another transaction uh, let me go to 
let me create another session okay so create another session or create another logon because uh, i'm running out of session okay Ooh, do not do that so that's a problem so because what i'll do is uh, which one ah, probably i can close this one so now so now uh, hit simulate room and here you remember we put 10 10 so now it's not was number we put here company code was 10 10 no 10 0 0 1 sorry no wonder okay so if i put 10 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 it shows 3 which is not correct i want only this to show when no other things are maintained so that's why i went here i'm going to change and i can change the priority so if i put save and i click on save now and i simulate now and i put one zero zero one i see two and suppose now i don't have anyone maintain or something it goes to that so this is the way to go so let's now go to our workflow log so in the workflow log they have approved invoice this but now the thing is uh if i go here uh, let me go here and i'll act as an approver okay go to technical work item display and i click on execute yeah now here there's no real description they want probably they want to know what is the company code the fiscal year they would like to have a link and all those things this these are the changes so when we were developing this workflow we were a complete amateur okay these things will come later on okay so that's why so now they they want to have we will see uh, they want a link here they want a link and they want some description like uh, give me the uh, document number the company code and the year okay something like this so let's go and because since this is not there we are going to develop it okay so how to develop this so the first thing they wanted is link so in order to get a link we have to go here control okay and we click on the binding so there is a binding between the workflow and the task we'll show you workflow and task binding and before that uh, i wanted to show let's complete that workflow because another pro thing about workflows are the task portion okay the task portion is replicable provided there is no changes the task portion is replicable provided there is no change in the binding but means it auto not replicable it means it auto updates like suppose you have a, a work in turn run an instance suppose this is an instance and they asked for this this these buttons will not show up here it will show up in the the moment the workflow changes goes inside and any workflow instance that was triggered after the fact anything that was triggered before will have this issue okay but if you change description here in the task that will not be having the problem we'll see so now if you notice here uh, if i go and now if i go to the workflow log i was telling you see so when this is half yellow and all those half blue and half white that means still it's in progress okay now if i clicked here and i execute and i suppose say change okay i say test change okay and i press yes now the workflow log is gone so now you see this is complete okay now if i click on this there is no agent button so that because the agent buttons only show up 
for non-completed work items okay that's the ones okay so here you can see who approved when why sap workflow is so popular in sap and any s4 hana project because it has this wonderful audit you can fool that audit lock it's an auditor's heaven where they can pick up anything from here okay now what happens is now what we are going to do we are going to make some changes here okay so here we'll do this binding object id and we'll put invoice here and we'll see it works or not okay So it shows this is an error log there is a problem it cannot be binding like this okay so what we have to do is uh, let's close this and we are going to change something no we are not going to save it okay here what we are going to do is we are going to bring in uh, changes that's why we created our own standard task okay now here we would we will put this invoice and here we'll put the business of the dkp okay. we'll put import export press enter we'll save it okay and now we're going to hit the back button now oops i went too fast now i will do the binding here is the binding that we are going to do invoice to invoice okay this is the first portion we did now also we'll click here and we'll change the description here And we click change, click here change, so this is the description, now this opens like this, don't get confused, we'll go to go to change editor and we'll go here and what I'm going to do is we'll select this control Y and I'll hit delete. Here I will say please release invoice uh, here we say expression we click on expression here we get the pop up and we say please document number uh, for company for expression okay and probably I can end here this we'll click here and we put fiscal gear okay now we'll save it okay now we have this ready okay now what we are going to do is we are going to activate it now this has changed okay now let's click on this did you see this magic we did just now Please release invoice. So it got updated, but the other stuffs didn't get updated. So we have to check why the other stuff didn't get activated. Updated because we added a new element. That part will not get updated. But this container, this things got updated, which after, which is completed. Okay. So be sure when you are changing because the audit might screw up these things. Okay. So if you have to change something, let the business know that you're changing stuff. 
okay but it's another another way it's good because if something was messed up and you correct it they cannot say oh something was messed up before because the old ones are also fixed now okay so let's go to our transaction and probably we'll create another event let's see okay create event now you'll go to the inbox portion let's go hit that Okay, so this is our workflow we triggered. Okay, now the workflow log and we'll see some stuff. So if you notice, let's see whether it changed or not. This release invoice, it didn't change yet. Okay, that's a little strange, but we can fix it, no problem. The attachment also didn't come. So let's see the workflow log. The workflow log will tell you everything. Okay, so let's see here. The invoice, oh, of course it will not come because we didn't. Okay, so let's do the binding first. Between, did we do the binding here? Between invoice to invoice. Yes, we did the binding. Why didn't bind? No errors. Okay, probably we didn't activate this. Did we activate this? We'll test it again, okay? So let's do one thing. Uh, we'll just we'll just hit approve. So you saw just between this, we already tested so many stuff. So we'll say test, we'll just click on this. Hope for log, okay? Now, Let's wait. Let's play the catch catch game. We'll create the event and this will trigger. Okay. Now we'll go here, SWUE, and I'll create an event. Okay. Event is triggered. We go to business workplace and here we triggered. You see, anything which is completely blue is completed, and anything which is not this is in process so here what i'm going here i you can double click or you can just click on this okay and now i just want to make sure this even gets it's still not getting the stuff so that's a problem okay so let's see it got its stuff from here it has the stuff here but it doesn't move there so we'll find another way so let's go and we'll fix it a different way so we have this we'll go into container we'll change it port export okay. it's good we'll create invoice number number Bsec, Belmar, import, export, let's see. the heck of it, and we'll create company code. And we'll do a year also, because since we have year. So now, Bsec, just to let you know you this is an s4 hana system so you might be hearing lots of things that something is gone vseg is gone ac docker is in it's up to you vseg is still there so so don't listen to the rumor <laughs> check the system first okay because the system will never lie so vseg bookers now we'll put year okay year year Put BSEG and now where I am getting this field name, okay. You can just go here, double clicking on the structure. Here you see 
this is the fiscal year, this is the accounting document, this is the company. Okay. Since I know this, that's why, but you can always cross check something. You don't need to double click if you are not a double click person. SAP has it. You can click here and you can get the same view like that. So here if you see GRS. So here I clicked. I'll do the same. Import, export. Okay. Just now you might say why you are doing import, export. I just want to make sure it works. It doesn't matter. There's no performance issue. You put import, export just for the heck of it. Just put import, export because later on you might want to use it as a, a exporting parameter also so later on so you have everything right now let's see let me save this and here what we want to do is uh, here we will put this one invoice number company code and the year so I'm not sure whether the year will blow but still we'll try invoice number uh, invoice number company code and what is the year fiscal year okay and now I did this but I didn't change the description so let's go and change the description I click in change first then I clicked on this okay so take some time oops it's slow it's not good so, okay slow shows up go to change editor and here I'll take all these things out uh, remove this well, probably I cannot remove this yes I can remove why not uh, this one also I'll remove and now I'll put invoice number I'll put expression and I'll put invoice number here and the company code I put here company code and here I'll put this okay now here I have changed it now we will activate this And just for the heck of it, we will just uh, I th do the buffering also because I think it helped us. So let's see. S uh, W O and O buff. Okay. So we did this. Let's start synchronization. Let's it hit. Now, if we see, we have uh, so we have the buffering done. Now we are going to again create an event. Okay, and let's go to our business workplace. So the workflow is triggering very small, smoothly. So that's nice and here we want to see nothing got passed which is a problem okay so the problem still exists so now let's go and we'll see what's the problem so whether the binding is not there or not so we did the binding invoice number let's see the workflow log so the workflow log didn't pick up the company code didn't put the year also so that's a problem okay import export here we have the numbers okay which is good so let's do one thing 
go to the workflow invoice number invoice to invoice number company code decision note okay this is a uh, I'm just making sure this was import export. Yeah, this looks good. So, why it's not triggering? Probably what we have to do is we can do like this slash nex. We're going to log out and we'll log in again. Okay. So, let's log in. Sometimes logout, login works. It depends upon the type of system it is. You know. uh, workflow is can be misbehaving. Okay, so here now what we're going to do is SWE. Okay, and we did BKP here. We have the event. Uh, this click and we get the object key the I think let's go we'll find uh, let's go to MIR4 again and we'll have the year pick it up and we'll go to follow on document okay and if you are keyboard person you can hit f8 also so every every document in sap you, most of the keys you can click on mouse or you can do if you're a keyboard person there would be a shortcut okay so here uh, let's see whether we'll put a block let's see whether it gets triggered save and now this got saved now we are going to go to our business workplace and create a new session and this is this is our business workplace now if you go to outbox here you click on outbox and you click on start it workflow okay so this was triggered now it didn't trigger that so we have to trigger that manually so let's see now let's go here again Click on object key. Uh, what was the number? I think the number is the same. So it's 50. No. Is this the number? No. This is the 23. So now we go 23, 20, 19, I think. Yeah. And we see show event receiver event parameters event there's no event parameters which is fine For event event so this triggered now we'll see what happens so this workflow are triggered Okay, so it's still not there it's pretty uh, different so it has this one but it doesn't have anything here so let's see what we can do let's go to our workflow template workflow template we go and this the one yeah so we go here and here what I'm seeing this is look like the circuit diagram okay so if you like your old big old days in physics or electric city anode and diode diagram <laughs> your it brings back to my days of college okay so it's fun so this is not passing anything so there might be some problem 
axis. Right. So let's see. What's the problem here? Everything is passing, but still it's not passing. Let's pink part. Let's now do one thing. Uh, well, this is the problem. Start for missing elements. Yes. 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 So let's see now. We will trigger the event again. We hit event. When we go to workflow log, new one will be triggered with the with the date of date and timestamp now. So if you notice, this is the timestamp. Yes, it works. So that was the problem. If you notice, now it shows up. Everything shows up. The it was missing transfer element and all those things. So now I will show you the magic. We'll execute. So you saw the real life experience. Even in a tutorial, I showed you what you will encounter. It's not that I have made it perfect in this tutorial that you will because this is the thing about real about tutorials which makes a different from our tutorial because in our tutorial covers the real life thing where I showed you errors happening. I didn't make up the data. So here you execute and you see this. Voila, you have the link, you click on it, it takes you to that invoice number. Okay you to the transaction beautiful right and here you have all the things you can think okay that this thing now there's they said oh the client said oh uh, probably I need some more information okay so they said I probably need can you give me the amount or something and the vendor number and all those things well it comes difficult when they are asking all these things now okay but we will try so now we are going to go back to our wonderful child um, business object that we created we go to SW01 okay and here we created our business object which was you can see something CST function F4. This is our business object, and now we can execute here also. Put the fill here, and here we can see there's nothing we can use here. You see, nothing useful I can use. So, what I'm planning to do is I'll put what is available and let's see what, what I can get from some table. So, so here I'm going to SE SE 16 probably SE 11 first. Okay, it's faster. BKPF. Okay, this is the table, and now I will search with that company code and fiscal year and all those things. So 171051. This is the company code. Uh, 51. This is 23 and I put function f8 okay <clears throat> so here so they will probably want these other informations they want okay so they want the information like who created this transaction okay the username they want when was it changed okay when was it changed when was the document date okay and let me see what more information they might like to have okay and uh, what more, what more? Uh, so and this i want to make it simple because i don't want to make it so complex that 
and this this is something that you can do it in sap as well as s4 hana so i'm not going to introduce ac docker table and all those things okay so i'll keep it very simple so thing they want is put give me the person who created this and uh, when it was entered and when was the last changed and the posting date okay so these are the things that we want now what i'm going to do is i'll change this okay i'll make it field name like this because i want to have this information the the actual field name not the field description so now what we go going to do is going to change it okay so first things what i'll do is i'll create some attributes okay so here the attributes that i'm going to create i'll go in change mode so as i said you can add more attributes and these you cannot change any existing attribute you can have additional features for yourself but you cannot change your dad's attribute okay create with above dictionary no i'll just click with this one sorry i'll just click create and i'll say no okay i prefer that so i'll put posting suppose posting date put posting date it doesn't like spaces posting date posting this and i put database field and here I put KPF, okay, and here I put PUDET. Okay. Uh, here, here I put this, okay. Next is same thing. We are going to put, I think, what is the next field that we are going to use is the person who entered US NAM and when was it last changed and view that when was it entered okay let's do the all the date business okay so entered on and we put database view and we put pkpf and we put to function f4 and this was entered on date one was entered here it is now we'll again click create and we'll say last changed database view we keep here okay and here we have last changed and here what we put is last changed date is this one a that and then after this we'll put the username We'll put the username who entered. So, like username, user name. Okay. Being a little lazy, not putting it properly. <laughs> username, but you can put whatever you want. This is yours. Okay, so here. BKPF and here we will find the username US name and here we did it we saved it okay and what we are going to do is now we click edit you have to do all these things to so now we go to programs yes so it will create the you don't have to write a code since it's the same table okay we can pf and others so 
it will generate the program so if you see all these programs are generated so let's click on each of these and it's generated also here uh, this one program generated see you didn't even have to write a code and this is there from you know in I think SAP 4.6 probably 1990s 1990s I have been starting working to in SAP in 2004 in 1990s I used to go to school so so here so I'll make this everything you need to make it implemented and then we'll hit the the round button like to generate okay <clears throat> implemented to implemented database attribute okay this is done save it we implemented it okay now what we'll do we'll execute it and we'll see what we can do okay so you see all these entries are there now these are the dates now we are going to use this in our workflow template okay so let's go to our workflow template and we'll just go and change some description okay so here we go into change mode and now we go into description now once we hit description we go to go to uh, change editor okay i think we can configure it okay so we'll say the invoice was entered we'll give this thing like this entered on Nice. Entered on let's say invoice and all these things are coming. Entered on okay. posting date. Click on expression and we do this. And we say posting it and we say last change date and here and now I'll put uh, entered by Entered by user. Okay, so now I'll save it. And we'll click yes. And if you see, this is already come. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go to our workflow log. Probably it might replicate now. I don't know. Let's see. I have seen lots of things happen before. So let's hit the refresh button. So you see all these things coming, but the other stuff didn't come. So let's see. Did it come here? It came. It didn't came here. Okay, so let's see. So we'll see, we'll trigger again. Okay, so we go to SWUE, same place. So you saw just just for testing some small, small cases, we triggered already over like eight, nine workflows, right? And that's that's the thing, that's why I was saying workflow template you have to keep the stuff. Away. so these things didn't come okay 
so let's see why this is not coming invoice it should have come but doesn't want to come okay so posting date this thing probably i didn't did i activate this i didn't generate it can be generated successfully okay probably could not show up so let me do go to buffer refresh do i have buffer refresh here somewhere uh, okay no nope. so let's go SWU underscore buff a synchronization let's see okay it doesn't show up so we saw that it's not showing up in those cases so let's see sometimes it doesn't show sometimes it does so let's go I want to make sure I don't lose this. So, Control C. Okay. Let's go here. Go back. SWUE. Same thing. Put the objects so that's there. Create an event. Okay. Now, let's see. We'll go into the workflow log. And now we save. We see the workflow log and still doesn't show up so let's we probably have to do the thing that we did like that way okay why it doesn't show up let's see if i click on this click on invoice these things are not showing up uh do we it has data but it doesn't show up it's strange <clears throat> okay so let's do one thing does it show up in that thing why it doesn't show up heroes it doesn't show up heroes so that's the business object problem probably uh -huh. slash n sw01 okay so let's see Generate it successfully. If I click on create or execute, does it show up? Yeah. So it shows up here if you see. It doesn't show up there. So that's just a little strange. So something going on. So it needs to show up there. We'll see why it's not showing up. Uh, so let's go here, click on this invoice, and we click here, click here. So let's see, probably I put a breakpoint somewhere and it will start showing up. So we can put an attributes, we click on attributes, we click on programs, and, and we'll see whether this selects so now click on workflow no it didn't trigger so that's strange it's showing up but it doesn't show up so let me log out so completely I logged out and I logged in again. Okay, so it shows up now. I log in student 11 and get the password. Don't have single sign on. We'll go to workflow outbox. Started workflows. 
Okay, so see it showed up. So it's just a simple buffering issue. So that's the thing that you have to require with some systems and some systems you don't. So here we saw it's it was entered by this person and uh, it was last change date. Everything is there showing. So you might say, oh, this is something you different you're showing. Okay, let's go to the workflow log. It's with this person to the admin. Okay, so now here is the admin person. And if you want, you can put key on. Key off. Key on is, I think, on. So lots of time. See here, you will see the user ID also. Okay, so now we we'll just approve or we'll do something. Here we have all the description. Okay, so now here it is. So what we showed, so we, we we got all the things. Now everything that I showed, I didn't write a program about code. So that's not right. So I'll write now some code so that because they will, you will have to write some code and uh, a workflow consultant is expected to write code because he is expected to be an ABAP expert as who, who knows workflow as well as an ABAP uh, workflow expert because at the end everything is ABAP okay so what we are going to do is here we'll try to get the table names fixed okay so we'll read b6 so since I'm going in in S4 HANA, we don't worry about B6 being a, because it's no more a cluster table, just to let you know. So I'll just get this number and I put this and I put 1710 and I'll F8. And here we have three entries. So probably I will say now you might say the reason what I'm doing is now they're saying, oh. Uh, can you send can you give me now the amount because this is the amount what they want to see because without an amount what is the use of it so so the mbtr is the field i just want to go back in the things so here amount in local currency they want okay so this is what they want so we have to write some code again we will write code and we'll see how it works okay so let's go so there's approach they're like yeah, you can use an attribute as well as you can write a method i'll use attributes because it will be used all the time so when we instantiate so here here's my child the child can have extra characteristics not you cannot change your father's thing okay you cannot mess your father's identity okay so even if you try to mess see all these are visible okay so now what we are going to do here we'll create a field put amount put amount and, and this one will be virtual because i have it's not in the same database field so this would be b set and we put tmbtr okay now I'll go into code, click yes, and we'll write some code. Okay. So here is the code that we have to write. Okay. So we'll say select single DMBTR into object amount okay from he said where now now the copies copy paste business I have to do these things are important it's difficult it would be without any technology okay so here is the thing and here you notice I have to there was two entries so I have to probably use the posting key as 31 so let me go I don't know the name so I go to flip it fill name 
and PSCH. Okay, so I put add PSCHL. Let's see what PSCHL. What is thirty one meant? These are posting. These are finance things. Okay, so if you want to know what is BSCHL thirty one is in for inverse. Okay, it's always for inverse. So. <clears throat> the other entry was probably for GL. Uh, let's put thirty one. Okay. Oops. And we hit Control F three. Oops. We'll save. And now I'll generate. So generate is control F3. Once you do that, it generates the code. So now the code has been generated. Now it's time to test it. Are you tested? We did we, we used our I wish the next thing would be a clipboard where you can choose different clipboards for what you copied. So here we'll just copy because I copied the code and uh, if I do control V the code will come. So that's the next challenge for you know the smart people uh, who works on Windows or Apple to do. So here if you see did the amount show up amount to amount okay I didn't even generate it. Oh, I have to do this. Edit, change, to implemented, generate. So we are seeing lots of things that, you know, real life scenarios where people make mistakes. So here is the amount, ten dollars. Oops, we got it. Now let's do. We'll claim some magic. Okay. <clears throat> let's see the magic. What we can do. We we'll go to PFTC. We know why we go to PFTC is for changing workflow templates. Okay, now we go here. We go to PKPF. We go to change mode, and it's opening. Okay, now here. We go again in change to control and we'll say uh, change and we'll put on description and we'll say yes because we saw what happened. If you don't put this, this becomes quite messy. And now we go to the change editor. So I think I can say go to configure editor and okay uh, format go to change editor and here I think there is a way you can always make it default open it here so we'll see enter down and amount we'll put amount Beautiful. Okay. And this one will make it bold. Let's see whether you can make it bold. To text simple bold open make it bold. See. Wait, there should be a way to make this bold. So remember symbols, program symbols. Graphics, display characters, clipboard, special, format character. Yep, 
here it is you see I can make it underline I can highlight this so I made it highlighted so we'll see whether it works or not it didn't work because it should show highlighted here also let's go here Let's show highlight, go to change editor. If I copy probably this one, control X, control V, let's save it. Hmm. Yes, now see, it's highlighted. That's good. We'll see how it works. So we'll now activate and let's see this magic close up into the new workbench. I don't know. Uh, so let's see. We click again execute. The bound shows up. So Do I have to log out and log in because we do have to do? Let's do that. Log out, log in. Depends upon the system. Okay. Uh, and it, now you may say, how we fix it? This is not feasible. The basis will have a note or something. Basis can fix this. The basis, our good old basis people can do magic. We sh we saw some magic here. You saw when we tested this one so if I go here does it show yes it shows we did the magic so the amount now shows up so we saw everything you can think about on this testing so now you see it looks pretty you have the amount highlighted and everything you can think of and you can click release you can click a link so this covers everything about the SAP workflow testing Okay, this is a simple workflow where we created a business object, we created an event, we triggered events, uh, and we added links, we added descriptions, and we did the most important part because it was not made up. We did the actual testing, we got the actual errors, and all those things. It's perfect. Okay, so. This covers the development portion, development and testing portion of this tutorial.